Welcome back, guys. We got another episode of Retail. So, Local Toys R Us actually got some of this in. Uh, so, I was just. My Walmart was weird. She didn't restock one week. She finally restocked. And I was hoping to find some more prison basketball uh, and actually hockey. Uh, there was none. Kind of odd. Like. Prism, yeah, maybe I would have missed it, but the hockey, I just, I don't think there's anybody buying all the blasters for hockey that, that she would have got in and, and everything else. Even that, it's kind of just a little bit weird. Um, if you guys haven't watched this yet, so essentially you get seven packs per box and uh, eight cards per pack. So looking at probably getting two young guns and these go for about, depends on where you find them. Uh, I know my local card shop has them on for like 34 Four, 35 bucks. Uh, Toys R Us had them on for 32. So, a um, little bit different deal, but kind of in that mid 30s, uh, high 30s, you know, depending on the person. So, or the place. Um, so, here we go. We get Kevin LeBanks. We've all seen all these. We got Kucherov. And then we got our marquee rookie of Pascal or Pavel Francouz. I know his name. I don't know why I just messed up. Um, that is one of our hits. So, Frank Cruz actually hasn't played yet this year. Dealing with injuries. So, supposed to be the Avalanche goaltender. Uh, number two for them. Not the case. So, went and grabbed Dubnik. Went and grabbed Johansson. Trying to make a little bit extra here. Uh, we got Roussel. We got Monahan. We got Milan Lucic. Played a thousandth game the other day. Had a wicked tilt. Just kind of. Seem fitting. We got Ranta. It's probably a base pack. Yep. Nick Paul, Cody Glass, and Zdeno Chara in the Bruins. Should probably be switched. This part for series two, that there's no reason why you should have Chara showing up in a Bruins uniform. It's been he's been long gone. <laughs> You're just making all the Bruins fans hurt a little bit more by not having him there. Uh Kuznetsov. Revo. Kyle Connor. Got our young gun coming up here. Erasmus Anderson. Do I not have a young gun? Not yet still. Burkowski. Nope. Ryan Graves and Brandon Lemieux. It's crazy. Even Brandon Lemieux's gone. How many guys get traded throughout the run of a year? Some big names, some small names. Some names that people will never even remember. Uh, Carl Haglin, Austin Matthews, he's not getting traded. Robin Leonard, Jake Muzzin, Jake Vertanen, Mark Giordano, The Checklist, and Mike Smith. Man, three packs left. Now, the young guns are one every four packs. Um, so there is a chance that somebody would not hit two young guns in one of these. That might be my luck. Um, I did actually have four in my hands of these. I put two back. Somebody's got a Stutzel sitting for them at uh, Toys R Us. That's uh, the best way to look at that. Uh, Marc Andre Fleury. You get Johnny Gaudreau. We get a Young Guns. It's for the Senators. <laughs> Never mind. He's in this pack. <laughs> Tim Stutzel. Oh, my. That's the first Stutzel I've pulled um, on. Yeah, wow. I'm kind of speechless right now. Uh, Tim Stutzel. That is not a cheap card. Um, and I've, like I said, I've never pulled him yet. Um, this is my first one. I ha got him in a break or an opening I had. Guy opened a hobby box for me and he actually pulled me a Stutzel. So I do have one. Uh, but the first time he's showing up to the bench on the channel. Look at that. He's, I know Kaprizov is still higher than him, but if I was to like invest in a card, I think I would invest in the younger Tim Stutzel rather than the older Kaprizov. 
you know, debatable, I guess, but uh, it's dudes are looking really good. Also, background of the day, I went random again today. Um, I guess actually the Josh Norris pulls pulls me pulled uh, Stutzel and two rookies, uh, young guns for the Senators. But get David Savard, obviously get traded uh, out of Columbus, long time Columbus Blue Jacket. Also former Moncton Wildcats, so I always rep the Wildcats. Uh, that's why I have the David Savard future watch. Um, we get Josh Norris looking real good for them as a rookie. And then Galchanyuk, uh in the Prism card. Prism, not a very big card if you know you're not looking at like Prism compared to like a Young Gun, but I was I like the Prism Young Gun or the Prism rookie cards, and I kind of grabbed a couple. I got him, I got Huberto, um, Peter Morazic, Grubauer, Ranta. So there's quite a few of them now. Uh, Jordy Ben got traded. Shea Theodore, Kale McCars, Butte, Freddie Anderson, Drake Batherson, Griana. So if we only hit one young gun in this, I'm fine with that. Um, <laughs> not going to complain if the only, I'd obviously like to hit a second one here. So we'll see if we can do that. Yeah, we got a second young gun, so we didn't get gypped that way. Brandon Pino, or Brian Pino, sorry. There we go for the, is it the shine of the prison that's screwing up. Capital center. I don't think I've actually pulled Brian yet. Oh, and then we got a green dazzler behind it. Braden Point. It's a pretty nice card. We'll grab some sleeves for that. I don't know if it's just because like the divisions are different this year, but I haven't heard that much about Braden Point. I'm trying to think. I may have him on a fantasy team. I don't remember anymore. I'm in two fantasy hockey leagues. To be honest, I pay way more attention to my fantasy football than I do my fantasy hockey. Fantasy hockey is when I remember to set my lineup, I remember to set my lineup, and that's about it. So I guess we could check the back of Brian Pino. I guess we could check the back of Stutzel too. Um, just to let you guys know what. So Stutzel this is why one of the reasons I like him. He was born in 2002. The kid is 19 years old. He's. Super young, just a baby. Out of Germany, 6'1", 187. So he's not even like a undersized guy. Like He's the size that you kind of want. And then Brian Pino, born in 95, so he's 26. So a little different between those two, but wow. Time to see what we got in this one. I swear, sometimes I just speak this stuff into existence. Um, also, before I forget, the last hobby box I opened up, or two hobby boxes ago, I thought I only, only opened up, only got five young guns, and I did during the break, because somehow, some way, as I struggled to get this box open, um, I threw one of the packs off to the side. I guess I don't know when or how I did it, but I threw one of them off to the side uh, when I was cleaning up all the stuff after I found the there's a pack that obviously had cards in it, and uh, just wanted to let everybody know here. I've officially opened up a restraining order against Mackenzie Entwistle because that was the young gun I've I, I got out of that pack. So Mackenzie Entwistle is just following me around, it's getting a little spooky at this point. But got seven more of these. Let's see what we can get for more young guns. I can't believe we hit that Stutzel. That made these worth it by a long shot. Uh, Jacob Rana, Adam Goodet. Chara Burkowski. So we just got a base pack. But wow, that is. It's crazy. Hockey season has been weird. I don't know if it's been weird for you guys. I know we've talked about it on the podcast a couple times. It's just different. See the same teams every every single day. Um, and obviously, even for the players, like you can just tell like things are getting a little testy out there. People are getting a little chippy and everything else. We got a rookie portraits of. Chase Presky. He's uh, he's on the watch list for the for the restraining order. Got two of him in a hobby box. Talked to the guy at the hobby shop. He said he's like, I don't think I've ever seen two two of the same young gun come out of the same hobby box. I was like, well, I pulled them, and you guys can if you guys will go back and watch some of those videos. I've had some weird luck when it comes to just hobby boxes, everything in general. Some good luck, but some weird luck too. Uh, this one's going to be a young gun. It's 
It's going to be for the Golden Knights. Gage Quinney. She got his auto. And behind him, <laughs> Keith showing up again. Keith Yandel in the green. Sonk. That's how I feel sometimes. Uh, Sonk Master himself, Keith Yandel. Looking good. Got him. Pretty sure I pulled a green Keith Yandel not that long ago on one of the other uh, retail breaks. While I, was, while I was wearing a Keith Yandel jersey. Had, haven't worn, worn my Keith Yandel jersey in for a video in I don't know how long. Wear it. Pull an insert of him. It's weird. Some of the odds we get here on the bench. So we're going to have a second young gun show up. Or should, I guess they said. It's all by odds. It's all by averages. But typically we you always hit them. Sean Monahan, Milan Lucic again. Kuznetsov, we've already got this print run. A couple more base guides. Three more packs. Can't believe that. It's Dutzel. You guys would have seen, but that's like a hundred and thirty, hundred and forty dollar card, I think. So uh, let's see what we got here. We got another one. This one is for the sharks. Max and Lutunov. Should have left this pack there. That's fine though. Uh, Maxim Lutunov. Believe he there's so many sharks. There's a lot of sharks and a lot of Blackhawks in the series too. Um, but here he's born in 1996, so he's another 25 year old young gun. And I think Gage Quinney's the same thing. Yeah, 1995. So he's a 26 year old young gun. So not a bunch for the greatest. To be honest, I'm, I'm waiting on tins. Tins are my thing. But like I said, when I went to, Tim, went to Toys R Us, seeing these are there, couldn't leave them behind. Uh, we got our green marquee rookie. Oh, no, it's a award winners of Connor Hellebuck. What did I see that was green? Oh, marquee rookie behind him. Uh, P.O. Joseph. It's a double hit. And then last pack to finish it all off. Maybe we'll get a third young gun here. Make up for Gage Quinney and Latunov. No, it's a base pack. Got Jonathan Huberto, is underrated. Patrick Maroon, he just wins Stanley Cups now. Malcolm Tsube, Brandon Montour, Cam Fowler, Ryan Johansson, Jacob Slavin, Robbie Fabry. Never became what he was supposed to be, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, I enjoyed it. Uh, anytime you can hit a Tim Stutzel out of a retail pack that cost 35 bucks with tax, uh, not going to complain about that at all. And uh, yeah, we'll probably, we'll see if we get a couple more episodes of retail. I enjoy the hobby ones. They're just so long. They're just, they're, it's a lot of cards and it's a lot of base cards. I gave away a bunch of base cards um, to two different uh, daycares. And I already have more boxes full. Like it's just, it doesn't take very long for, for them all to add up. Um, it's a good idea though. If you guys have base cards, if you're wondering what to do with them, kids love that stuff. Um, so make sure you guys kind of, you can do, donate them to I'm sure, I guess every daycare is different, but maybe reach out to daycare, stuff like that. Uh, see if they are interested in taking them. Said so saves you guys some space and everything else. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you guys haven't yet, hit that like and subscribe. Uh, we got football, draft, talk, podcast, everything going on right now leading up to next week's NFL draft. Um, it's exciting times for us over here at the bench. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And for Eric, catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.